Hi, everybody! Rawr! This is Crit Creature and Trucks come at you with another video today. And we are doing a review of a very classic anime that I just finished watching. And I thought I was going to be able to do a review of Godzilla x Kong The New Empire, but it seems that I wasn't able to do it today. My family is like really busy with stuff and the name of this anime is cowboy bebop if you're thinking it's if any of you knew these the anime is like are oblivious to this one then you should give some of the old ones a try now space beat i mean cowboy bebop is not a Exactly all a Wild West kind of thing. It actually takes place in the distant future in the year 20... I mean, 2071. Wow, that is far in the future. Yeah. And Earth is kind of a dump heap now, a days. Yeah. So, humanity is... Been moving from other planet, moving to other planets around in the solar system, making lives on there. There are a bunch of cities on that one. I mean, in the solar system nowadays, like on Mars, Venus, Uranus, Pluto, and Neptune, all of them. Yeah. And a very popular profession has sweeped the entire solar system. Bounty hunters called cowboys. Yeah, <laughs> they go around the entire solar system looking for, <laughs> you know, people to get taken on criminals Hackers, you know, all the kinds of slime. And and who are the main characters of this adventure? The cow, the, it's a rough and tough guy named Spike. Another, fr a friend of his named Jet. A very gambling, a girl with a gambling Problem, whose name is Faye. And we got a girl named Ed. <laughs> She's a little <laughs> quirky. And there's a dog named Ein. Ein? Yeah, Ein. And they go around the entire solar system doing bounty hunting jobs. And, <laughs> let's just say, well, if you think they use laser guns in this day, in that world, no. They use bullets. Guns with bullets, rocket launchers, and their spaceships are even equipped with them, too. I mean, it is very much a weird kind of thing to put into a space, into a... Space world. Uh, <laughs> well, luckily there aren't any Star Wars kind of things. Like lightsabers and laser guns. Or laser rifles. Yeah. I mean, the story is just so... Wow. I mean, it may be only 26 episodes long and one movie, but... <sighs> story is very captivating on each and every episode you do. I mean, there's like action, drama, comedy, sadness. It has the whole shebang. And I mean, Spike, <laughs> he kind of has a little... <laughs> He's really got a past and a back. A past backstory that you will love. Jet, he used to be a cop before he became a... 
you know, a bounty hunter. Then there's also Faye. She was actually cryogenically frozen and then woken up 50 years later. Frozen in 2021 after a little accident. But she lost her memories after she was cryogenically frozen. That's got to be the pits. Yeah. And Edward, the hacker girl, she, like I said, she's quirky. Very quirky. Yeah. And who names their daughter Edward? I mean, it's kind of weird. I'll say. Now, and then there's Ein. Uh... Corgi dog. A corgi. Which is very interesting, but he's a data dog. A data dog? Yeah, like, he can actually... He's a living thing, but... He's a living flesh and blood dog, but he's able to sense stuff in technology. Like, sense the evil or virus. That kind of thing. In computers and technology. That is very interesting. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for today, everyone. Yeah. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And please tell all your friends about us to help us reach 300 subscribers. This is Crate Creature and Trax wishing you a very happy day time and hope you have a lovely summer bye